58,000 pounds of power. Built with heavy duty I-beam structural quality steel. Tooling, machined to precise tolerances from solid stock. Gas carburized, oil quenched, case hardened to a minimum hardness of 58 Rockwell C. Aircraft quality hydraulic hoses. Over 45 years of experience and research to guarantee superior performance. UL approved components, safe and easy to use. Huth, the industry leading name in automotive pipe benders and end finishing equipment. With a Huth tube bender in your shop, you instantly increase your profit potential because now you're installing custom made exhaust pipes that fit like original equipment. With tubing that stacks neatly, you'll save thousands of dollars that you'd normally have tied up in inventory. And yet, you'll have the ability to install custom built pipes on the growing number and variety of cars on the road. The result? Customer satisfaction. With your machine's versatility and access to Huth's over 7,500 pre-programmed bending cards, you'll never turn away business or make your customer wait for delivery because you don't have a particular pipe in stock. You'll come up with cost-effective solutions for customers' special needs while they wait, which builds your reputation and your business. That's why a Huth Bender is such an important asset in your shop. Every Huth tube bender is built from scratch in our own factory. We take raw stock and create tooling with automated precision machining. Sub-assemblies are welded with the latest robotic equipment. Structural elements by skilled craftsmen. We transform individual electronic components into user-friendly control panels. Every bender undergoes rigorous factory testing and is set up and calibrated so you'll be ready to bend on delivery. We control every aspect of our benders so you never need to go elsewhere. We can answer your questions, solve your problems, order your parts, or create a special tool for your customized applications. Through time-tested concepts and ongoing research and development, Huth Manufacturing Company has improved and refined its entire line of equipment and tooling. From our efficient and economical models designed for smaller shops, to Huth's most popular models, the 2806 and 2008, the versatile range of machines, options, and accessories available with Huth Benders allows us to satisfy the needs of your budget and still meet the demands of your shop. Even if your business is not involved with the automotive industry, Huth Benders are at work making a variety of products. Huth Manufacturing Company has remained responsive to the needs of a changing industry. We've spent years perfecting our benders to make them versatile and easy to use. To be most effective in your shop, Huth tube benders must be quick, convenient, and accurate, and easy to learn. So we've designed controls that are uncomplicated and easily accessible, and Huth's copyrighted program cards have a reputation of their own for being the most accurate in the industry. They'll enable even the beginning installer to start with a stick of tubing and end up with a perfectly fit pipe. But there's no better way to see how easy a Huth bender is to operate than by operating one yourself. No matter what type of bending or end finishing your business requires, contact your Huth dealer today and discover how quickly and easily you'll make more money by bending. The Huth Model 1600 and Model 2806 represent the latest lines of tube benders. Check your operator's manual for specific information about your machine. There's a detailed description of components, terminology, bending techniques, and end finishing procedures in the manual. Anytime you have a question, take a second to stop this demonstration and consult your manual. In fact, be sure and read your entire manual to familiarize yourself with all the features and safety guards of your particular machine before you start using it. The most important elements of any Huth product are the safety features. We've designed our benders to be the safest in the industry. However, operate your machine with caution at all times. Before you use the bender, you must allow for an adequate swing area. Pipes swing when bent. Double check this area to make sure no obstacles are in the path of the pipes as they swing. Make sure you're wearing proper safety clothing, gloves, safety glasses, bump hat, and safety shoes. 
Never operate your bender without the safety guards. Always make sure they're securely in place. Follow these precautions and the others listed in your manual and use common sense and you won't have any problems. This is the front of the machine where you'll find the controls and do your bending. There are three types of controls, push button, knee pad control, and semi-automatic. Huth model 1600 and model HB10 have on and off push buttons and a knee pad control. Models 2806 and 2008 have a knee pad control as well as on, off, forward, reverse, and automatic push button controls. Model 2008 adds an auxiliary on-off switch located at the swedger box. This is the sled. It holds your radius dies and pushes them on the guide plate toward the swing gates, which hold the back shoes. You can see that the dies and the back shoes are color-coded according to tube diameter. Size dimensions are also stamped into the dies and back shoes. The dies must be used with back shoes of the same corresponding size. It's the action of the radius die hydraulically pushed into the back shoes that provides the force to bend your tube. The amount that it's bent, or the depth of bend, is determined here at the depth of bend indicator on the left side of the bender. In this case, the indicator shows a 90 degree angle. On a semi-automatic machine, there is an additional depth of bend indicator on the right side. Once a desired degree is set here, depressing the automatic control will cycle the main ram through the forward and reverse motion and automatically bend the pipe. Using Huth's Model 2806, we'll now describe several bending techniques and problem-solving methods that will help you get the most out of your machine. But again, please read your manual thoroughly before operating your bender. Time does not permit us to cover all aspects of your machine in this video. Huth benders use 3-inch, 4-inch, and 5-inch centerline radius dies that perform bends as shown here. These three radius sizes are used for most tubing diameters. Check your catalog for a complete listing of radius dies. The 3-inch centerline radius die can produce a recommended maximum depth of bend of 135 degrees. The 4-inch allows a recommended maximum bend of up to 145 degrees. And the 5-inch centerline radius die will bend up to a recommended maximum of 155 degrees. However, when bending 2 and 3 quarter and 3-inch diameter tubing with the 5-inch centerline radius die, the recommended maximum depth of bend is lower, 135 degrees. Huth also manufactures a 5-inch full radius die. This die will allow a recommended maximum depth of bend up to 170 degrees. If you do not have access to a full radius die, you can still achieve the same deep bend by performing a double bend technique with two dies. We'll start by using the 5 inch centerline radius die and bend to 155 degrees. Next, we'll install the 4 inch centerline radius die and make the bend deeper to achieve the same depth of bend we performed with the 5 inch full radius die. Your program card will indicate the depth of bend for each die in the event you need to perform this double bend technique. Care must be taken when bending tubing not to exceed the depth of bend capable by the die. As shown here, the tubing will begin wrapping around the back side of the radius die and may become stuck. If your swing gate pressure is set too low, the back side of your bend will flatten and crush. To correct this, adjust your pressure to read between 400 and 600 pounds per square inch. Check your operator's manual for details on this procedure. Another problem may occur if a bend is required near the end of the tubing. The result? The pipe is crushed. To remedy this, a Huth end finishing tool may be used as a plug. Always use a smaller plug size than the diameter of the tube. In this case, a 1 and 7 eighths inch swedger die is inserted into the 2 inch pipe. The plug provides resistance during the bend and prevents the tube from crushing. Some exhaust system applications may require a bend close to a previous one. In this example, the bend is made with a full shoe. The edge of the full shoe digs into the pipe creating a damaging crease. 
A half shoe or three quarters shoe is used in this situation to eliminate the damage. We'll install a half shoe and make the same bend on a similar pipe. As you can see, the crease is eliminated. However, a new wrinkle appears from the half shoe. Wood blocks may be used to absorb the force that creates these wrinkles. The block thickness must extend slightly into the cavity of the back shoe, as shown here. Place the blocks next to the half shoe and bend the pipe. The blocks may be crushed, but they prevent the tubing from being damaged. In some tube bending situations, it's required to flatten a section of pipe. Here's how we do it. Install tool 852 against the sled. Use the proper diameter back shoes for the pipe. Then jog the ram in until the pipe is flattened to the proper depth. Once a pipe has been bent and cut to size, there still may be work to perform on the pipe. End finishing refers to the procedures to form the pipe so it may be connected to manifolds, converters, mufflers, or other pipes. The Swedger Expander Attachment, located on the back of your machine, will allow you to end finish exhaust and tailpipes to original equipment specifications. You can easily create flares, ball joints, flanges, and slip joints. In addition, the unit can expand and reduce tubing. Let's first demonstrate operations using the expander. Your Huth Bender comes equipped with the AccuSizer expanding unit. Once the sizer is installed, your bender is capable of expanding tubing. First, slip the adjustable collar guard assembly over the cylinder shaft and tie rods. Secure the assembly to the cylinder using the two half-inch jam nuts provided, and finger tighten. Extend the cylinder shaft and screw the arbor securely onto the shaft. Tighten all the way down to the shoulder. A wrench may be used to secure the arbor, but do not over tighten. Screw the arbor tip securely on the arbor. Lightly grease the arbor and the face of the adjustable collar. The adjustable collar has been calibrated at the factory, so once it's installed, you're ready to expand. The 508 Arbor has two detachable tips, the 498 Small and 499 Large. The 498 Arbor tip is only used to expand pipes to one and one half inch inside diameter. All other sizes use the 499 Arbor tip. In our first example, we will expand a one and one half inch outside diameter pipe to one and one half inch inside diameter. First, install the 498 Arbor tip. To determine what segment sizes and adjustable collar settings to use, check the expanding chart located on the side of the Huth Bender. For a one and one half inch expansion, the chart shows a yellow 473 segment set is required with an adjustable collar setting of two. Install the yellow 473 segment set by simply forcing it over the arbor tip. Dial in the adjustable collar until the yellow two lines up in the bullseye. Insert your pipe to the base of the closed segment set. Move the control handle down to engage the segment set. Lift the handle to close the segment set, then rotate the pipe slightly, and repeat to get an even, round, one and one half inch inside diameter expansion. Check the pipe for a good fit. Next, we will be expanding a two inch outside diameter pipe to a two inch inside diameter. The larger 499 arbor tip is required for this expansion. Locate two inch inside diameter on the expanding chart. The chart indicates that a red 474 segment is needed with a setting of five. Install the red 474 segment set. Dial in the adjustable collar until the red five lines up in the bullseye. Insert your pipe to the base of the segment set and expand. Again, engage the control and rotate to get an even expansion. And check the fit. Now we'll be expanding to three inch inside diameter. The same 499 Arbor tip will be used. 
The expanding chart shows a green 476 segment set is needed with a collar setting of 13. Line up the green 13 in the collar. Install the green 476 segment set. Insert the pipe and expand to a 3 inch inside diameter. Check for a good fit. We'll now move to the swedger side of our machine. The first application we'll perform is a deep or internal swedge. This operation will enlarge a tube to a specific deep inside diameter. Install the swedge die. Secure the pipe with the proper collets. Remember to always close the safety guard while operating the ram. Move the cylinder forward slowly until the tool enters the tubing. Continue to move the shaft forward until the tool reaches your desired depth. To create a reduction, which reduces the outside diameter of the pipe, we install the reducing die. Secure the tubing. And move the cylinder forward slowly until the tool slides over the pipe. Continue to move the shaft until the reduction has been formed. Take care not to go too deep with this tool or it will crush the pipe.